Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a new video series I'd like to introduce on my channel called Friday Favorites. And it's not gonna be what you think, it's not gonna be your traditional favorites video where it's all about you know beauty and makeup and everything. I want to incorporate more of lifestyle stuff on my channel, you know, health, fitness, lifestyle, whatever. And I figured the best way to start that would be to do a weekly, like Friday favorites, of a few, like maybe two, three, or four uh, lifestyle items that I'm loving that normally wouldn't fit into my monthly favorites. I don't want them to like overlap where I talk all about beauty every week and then not have anything to show you at the end of the month, but more or less stuff that I'm loving for that week that's kind of random and really wouldn't fit into it. So that's what this is. It's gonna be my first um, video on this. I'm not sure if it, I will do it every week because if I don't really have anything to share that week, I, I won't do it. But I wanna do at least, you know, every other week, you know, at least, you know, two or three times a month, I'd like to have this out there just so I could show you what I'm loving instead of doing like one big compilation video every few months of lifestyle favorites and stuff that's, you know, it, it's in the, in the moment. So I'm gonna get started. They're not gonna be very long. It's just gonna be, you know, very quickly and it's gonna just be random stuff. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is this. This is a salad spinner. Um, I actually got this at Aldi. They have like really good like home stuff, like kitchen stuff and all that. Uh, they don't always have it every week. You know, they're, they're the kind of, they're, they kind of remind me of Costco in a way where one week they'll have something and the next week it's gone. So if you see something that you like, grab it because you won't be able to get it. So this was uh, a couple weeks ago. They had like a bunch of like kitcheny things like this. And I have always wanted a salad spinner and it's just a very, you know, basic. And this is the lid. It comes with two little baskets and you basically will wash your lettuce in here. You know, you put your salad in here or your vegetable wash and, you know, rinse it and then you will put this on here and spin it. This, you know, rotates, you can see, to spin all the excess water out. Now, I know it's not a new concept. It's been around for a while. I just finally got around to getting one because I thought to myself, I prep salad every week and it's sometimes the bane of my existence is washing the lettuce, draining the lettuce, and then what I would do is I would literally dry it and put it in the container and like kind of line it with paper towel and everything. And I never got it to, you know, dry enough to where it would actually last longer than a few days because it start to turn brown. This has been not only time saving, but kind of life changing because I feel like I waste a lot less food and a lot less lettuce because it actually pulls all that water out. No matter how many times you squeeze it with, a, you know, a, a dish towel, it's never gonna get it as, you know, dry as this will. And it lasts so much longer. It just tastes better because it's not like soggy. And I just love this thing. This was really inexpensive. It was like 10 bucks. But any any place you go to, whether it's a Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, Walmart, the grocery store, everyone sells a salad spinner. So you can find it anywhere. This just happens to be the one that I got. And I do like this because it is BPA free and it's actually a healthier form of plastic and, and all that since you know, we don't really want that in our, you know, kitchen items. But I love this. If you eat a lot of salads and you make them at home, I mean, it's good for pretty much anything. You know, whether it's romaine or really if you like spring mix or whatever, it works and it really does the job. And I mean, I thought it was gonna be gimmicky, but it really is amazing. So that is my first favorite. And then the a second favorite, this is actually a body care item. This is a uh, Bath & Body Works scrub, and it's their aromatherapy line, which I actually really like this line. Um, this is the Comfort scent, and it's vanilla and patchouli, and this smells so heavenly. This is one of the best body scrubs I have ever used. I am very picky with my body scrubs. You guys know I've been using a lot of different ones and really testing them out and finding some that I really like and some that I really don't like. And me, my biggest pet peeve is I don't really like the sand ones that leave sand particles all over your shower and it just really doesn't feel like it's, it, it, you're not scrubbing your skin, it's just turning into sand and rinsing down the drain. So this has a bit of a um, creaminess to it where it scrubs, but it's still creamy. So it's gonna really moisturize your skin and really like scrub it. So when you are, 
you know, you know, every couple days you really just need to do that really good deep body scrub everywhere just to get all the dead skin off and whether it's been, you know, you've been self tanning or whatever, you really just want to get that off your body. This is so good and it doesn't leave your skin dry and it doesn't, you know, leave a film on it. That's another thing I've used um, a couple scrubs and it just leaves like such a film on your skin that like, let's say you scrub and then you go to shave, it, it just gets all gooped up in the razor. I hate that, but I absolutely love this scrub. And again, the scent is so calming and relaxing and just heavenly. So highly recommend this. And then my last favorites are gonna be some snacks. So these are my newest obsession. They are the Perfect Bars. And I have eaten Perfect Bars years and years ago, like when they first came out and they were all the rage and it was like the peanut butter one was like so hard to find. But um, now they have come out with different flavors. So this is the chocolate walnut brownie and this is the dark chocolate chip peanut butter. I absolutely love the walnut brownie one. This is my favorite. Um, these are now so easy to find. You can get them pretty much at any grocery store, you can get them at Trader Joe's. They're always like two for four or on sale or something. They are refrigerated because they don't have any preservatives in it, so you do need to keep them refrigerated, but they are so good. When you need a you know, quick fix in the afternoon, you know, if you are out the door and you didn't get a chance to eat something, you could take this with you. They are so tasty. Like, I will be honest, there are a lot of bars that people really like and I cannot stand them. Like, I will be honest, I do not like Quest bars. I have tried multiple flavors of them and I cannot stand them. I just, there's something about them. I don't like the taste of them. I, it's just me, you know, people love them. I don't. So for me, I'm always looking for a healthy bar. You know, yeah, you can go and grab a bar and it has like a lot of bad stuff in it, but it tastes good. So it's kind of like 50-50, but these actually taste delicious and they don't have anything bad in them. I mean, you know, all the ingredients in it, there's nothing, there's nothing bad in them. And you know, yeah, it might be a little bit of a pain in the butt to have to put them in the refrigerator, but I'd rather do that than eat a bunch of chemicals. So I love those. And then these, I think I know I have Instagrammed photos of these before. These are the Hail Mary um, dark chocolate bites. And basically these are when you have that sweet tooth craving and you need something after dinner and you want something that is chocolatey and just delicious, these are what I will eat. Um, they are made with literally the cleanest ingredients. It is maple syrup, shredded coconut, dark cocoa, coconut oil, vanilla, water, and sea salt. That's it. And they are so delicious. They're just like a little bite. They're so basically like a coconut, dark chocolate coconut bite. And I'm gonna show you what they look like. They look like this. Now I will just have like one or two. Um, you know, if I'm really just craving something sweet and I don't want to, you know, have a Snickers bar, <laughs> you know, or something like that, and like a cookie or a brownie or something, but I really just want something sweet. Like when you're craving it, this is perfect. And I have multiple bags of these and again they are refrigerated you have to get them in the refrigerator because there's nothing in them but they're just there's nothing bad in them and they're guilt-free so if you want to have one or two you don't feel like oh my god i just you know you know, ate something that i shouldn't have it's still healthy and it's still going to give you that satisfaction so i love those very much so that is it that is my little friday favorites for this week my little random lifestyle favorites. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know down below if this is something that you like and you want to see more of. This is just kind of like my trial run this week to see what you think of it. And I want to thank you all for watching. Again, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you have any random favorites that you've been loving. And I will see you all very soon. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. If you did like this and you want to see more, give it a thumbs up. And then I will talk to you very soon.